Okay, Brandon, you ask a really good question. Um, and I haven't seen this before. There's actually a new little twist in here, this office compatibility mode that I haven't seen before. Um, so here's, here's the two solutions going forward. Um, first, right now for your students who've already, you know, translated it into a Google document um, and have done the work, need to turn it in, but there's no turn in button um, on the assignment. Uh, once they go to the assignment page, let me show you how I got to the assignment page. Um, kids can always click on this view all over here on the left from the stream, and that'll show all of the assignments that have been, that are late, that are due, that are upcoming, and this group tribes brochure is, is the assignment we're working on. So here's the document that you started them off with, and with that PPTX, that'll, so when kids open it, it'll open it in this new um, office compatibility mode. Um, there are not as many features. I'm guessing that um, to make it a compatible Office file, they can't have all the research and all the other uh, things in there. Maybe they just haven't added those those options yet. I don't know. Um, and so in order for the kids to use it, they had to convert it to a Google Slides, which got rid of the turn in button. So for them to turn this document in, I've already gone in and um, converted it. And the way you can tell if it's in this compatibility mode, it's that file office compatibility mode. And the only way to get those extra features is to save it as a Google Slides. Uh, and even now that that um, turn it in button is gone. Uh, that's the original one that we open. It looks like this when you first open it up. If you say open in with Google Slides, you get this version of it in compatibility mode. When the kids uh, open in slides, then they get their own version of it. Uh, and this is what I've done, but the turn in button is gone, right? Um, so what the kids need to do to turn that in is instead of just clicking on turn in, they need to add their version of it. So they click add and click on Google Drive. And then every kid, I mean, I have a lot of folders here. Hopefully uh, your kids don't have as many as I do, but they'll all have a classroom folder, a folder called classroom. And in there, there'll be a folder called Mr. J's fourth grade. Uh, class and every document that they create or that they uh, open up from classroom should be in that folder. And so here's the original that uh, was created for them by classroom in PowerPoint version. Here's my converted version. I just click add there. It'll add that document here uh, in line and then I can say turn in and you'll have both versions of it, but you'll want to be great in the Google Slides version and not the original PPT, PPTX version. I click turn in and it'll say we'll submit both of those or if you want, kids can X that one out, the original one, so that you only have um, the original or the of their work to be turned in, click turn in. Now, to avoid this problem from the beginning and to give students access to a Google Slides version of your original PowerPoint um, so that they can have the turn in button and the research tool and everything from the start. Uh, here's what you're going to want to do. And I'm going to jump to a different class where I'm a teacher. I love this background, by the way. Very well done. Uh, I'm going to go to classes. And I am a teacher in this one. And so now what I need to do something, I need to do some stuff in Drive first. Uh, so what I've done, I've got the original version in PowerPoint here. Uh, you can upload your documents by clicking New and choose File Upload, or you can simply drag and drop them into Drive, uh, and those files can be uploaded easily. Uh, you can also upload an entire folder at once so that you've got everything in Drive so you don't have to um, keep going one by one to get the stuff you need. Anyway, I'm going to uh, right-click on this, and I'm going to say Open with Google Slides. And that will convert it into um, the Google Slides version that I can then reassign to my students. Uh, we're still in compatibility mode. So, and it'll be different on your desktop. Uh, if you're using Chrome on your desktop, it'll just convert it right away. Uh, if you're on a Chromebook, which I'm doing this recording from, uh, I need to go to save as Google Slides first, and then it'll do the conversion. Okay, I get this little hooray. It's now in Google Slides format. We're good to go. I can rename it. 
Oops. Get rid of that. Get rid of my name. And I'm going to move it into a different folder. And I'm just going to drop it in Classroom so I can find it quickly. Okay. So now I've got a Google Slides version of this document. I'm going to come here to my, uh, my EdTech class. I'm going to go down here to create an assignment. Call it um, Utah Tribes Brochure. I go to my drive. Instead of attaching it from my computer, I'm going to grab a drive document. And again, right in Classroom, find that Utah Tribes brochure, add that. And again, right here, student, make a copy for each student, and then assign. And then now, when I go in as a student, it should open it up as a, uh, as a slides document, should have the turn in button. Um, I will log in as another version of myself, a trainer account that I have, uh, to double check to make sure that the assignment works the way it should, the research tool is there, and the turn in button is there. Um, and I will let you know in the follow-up email that I will be sending along with this video. So hopefully that'll that'll solve your problems. Uh, just an extra couple of steps to convert those PowerPoint files into a uh, Google Slides document first before you assign it to the kids. Uh, but kids can always go into the assignment and um, and add their own documents or, or create a new document from scratch anytime. Uh, hope that helps. Hope that solves your problems. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. Okay, good news, bad news. Um, so I'm logged in as my alternate ego trainer account. Um, and so the good news is, is that there is no conversion that needs to happen uh, when students open up their assignment. I uh, go to open. Right now, when I open it, there's my version of the assignment. I can click on that, and uh, I now have uh, that template in Google Slides. Everything works, but there is no turn in button uh, for Classroom. So I guess Google Document, uh, Google Docs document, uh, for now, I haven't looked at a, a spreadsheet, uh, but that's the only one that has that direct turn in button, uh, but that's okay. That's okay, but we do have the research tool uh, that kids can use right away. Search for Utes, and I get some, uh, let's see, Ute Tribe. Maybe I better do a search like that. There we go, and if I want to bring in a picture, drag and drop, and there they are. And again, in the research tool in the documents, we'll footnote these things, but slides don't really have a good place to put in uh, a footnote. So I can just add that picture there and saved and drive. Okay. So what kids do, they just go back to classroom. Uh, and then when they click the turn in button, it'll turn in this, uh, copy that you, uh, gave to them. They don't need to add a separate file or anything. They just click turn in, uh, and it's good to go. So good news, bad news. There is that the, the turn in button is only in, in a drive, uh, Google docs, document, not on a PowerPoint or uh, Google Slides, um, but they don't have to convert it, save it, get confused that way. If you if you convert it first before you upload it uh, or assign it to them into a Google Slides format, it'll be smooth sailing for your kids. So uh, great question. Uh, hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions.